Good morning to everyone. So look, we're just going to quick, quick, quick run down through, I suppose, the uh, the, the pasture based figures for the week and, and and a few tips. So if we look at where the average round cover is, kind of in around sitting in around seven forty, um, growth up to about thirteen, and demand on average coming in from from pasture base of somewhere in around twenty four, and the diet somewhere in around grass and nine kilos, uh, meal of four and silage of four. Um, so uh, probably. Look at lar- largely across the country has been an awful lot of rain down o- over the last over the over the last week, and and this the, the figures from from LED from the predicted rainfall. F- this is from t- from Tuesday's figures. You know, there's there's this huge amount of rain. There's six, sixty mil rain expected for Cork. Um, you know, fifty mil rain for parts of the west and and forty for for the east. Okay, so many farms, particularly the wetter farms, will be will be at saturation at saturation or reaching saturation over the week. Okay, so for some. For some farmers that were particularly maybe ahead of target on grazing, you know, again, it's probably not going to affect them uh, as badly because probably greater grazing needed to slow down on these farms. But I suppose, you know, if the, the objective is to try and keep grass in the diet uh, every day throughout the spring, I suppose, to keep yield and, and, and proteins and proteins on the up and, and keep them, you know, keep, keep them moving. So to keep grass in the diet, we just, you know, need to run back to the on off grazing. There's probably a few weeks there that we got away without the on off grazing, just with how good ground conditions were but just to, to remember a few key points on the on off grazing you know for the grass just try and get to the lower grass covers on your farm so maybe somewhere about less than 13 less than 1300 somewhere somewhere to that extent good square paddocks and avoid softer hilly paddocks where animals may be pulling or, or you know the, um, maybe doing a little bit of damage try and go after paddocks with good access and road networks um, the cow make sure that she's conditioned to graze and has a keen appetite going to grass even if it is for that two or three hours maybe it's for that one bite during the day and 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 uh, yeah so there are the few key bits on the on the diet and just a few i suppose checks and balances for for over st patrick's weekend just to to, to to, to check where you are on your farm, check your average farm cover, get out and do a walk on pasture base. We're coming out of a few busy weeks, so get your farm cover up to date. Um, review the percentage graze. We target, you know, the aim is to target somewhere in around 65% by Patrick's weekend. You know, with your AFC and and percentage grazed in tandem, this is going to dictate the grass grass allowance on farms. About 40% of, of farmers are are under are under the 700. So for a lot of these farmers, it's going to be grass by day for 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 a couple of weeks. Okay, check your covers that's in the first three or four paddocks. If you're planning on starting the second round in early April, these must be at 600. So it's no harm to it's no harm to check where 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 where. Um, where they, these are at and when weather conditions settle down um, you know it's no harm to just uh, check what, what fertilizer you and sorry about on a farm and target 60 units out by, by Easter weekend so when the, when the when this wet weather passes update and, and, and bring your bring your fertilizer and slurry up to date.